Mailbag time. Let's see what we've got in here. I've got a whole bunch of packages. I'm doing a few more than usual because I've got a lot of stuff here. I had to do basically three mailbags in one day because I had like 30 packages. Ridiculous. See the links down below for these items. Thanks to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Help support the channel and help me to buy things from our bag and things to fix. These arrive very fast. Well, wow, this is a USB Pro Micro. And that's got a USB-C connector. So is that one. I think I bought two different types. There you go. There's the standard USB Micro or Micro USB connector. These are good little devices to have around because you can program these as a keyboard so you can actually simulate a keyboard with these things. I've used these before, I um, don't know if it's a hand right now, but I've actually built a ball which has a PIR sensor on it and that was sitting on my shelf for a while so when I actually was doing my live streams I'd have that pointing at this desk over here so when I came and sat down to this desk that PIR sensor triggered my Pro Micro which then did a keyboard combination to my computer which made it change scenes on OBS. Automatically switch. It worked quite nicely like that. These have got USB-C's, which are a bit unusual. I saw those there, I thought, oh, I haven't got any of them. Let's get some of those. But these are what I've already used before. Always place have lots of little microcontrollers around and things like which have certain functions, you know. All got the little pros and cons. And if you figure out which things you need, you can get a selection of ones that suit your purposes. Excellent. Some trimmers. So we've got 500 ohms up to 1 mega ohm. These are 25 turn trimmers. I used some of these recently in the projects, which I've got sitting on my desk. Here. This thing here, my constant current source slash sink, whatever you want to call it, depends on how you interpret it. Could be considered either way. <laughs> anyway, I used them on that. And I realised I didn't actually have many options in this style, so I've got some more. Don't forget to check out the links down below for these items. If I didn't say that already, I might have done one, I'm sure. What's this? Uh, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I never ordered a remote control. These are programmable ones, you can use these to learn codes. And, um, I don't know. Okay, well it's a learning remote control. You can program it. To do things, but yeah, it's a learning remote control. Mm. I need some more. I don't know what values these are. Anyway, same sort of thing. Trimmers. Yeah. Well, resistors. Green, brown, black, gold. I think that's what it is. Green, brown. 51 ohm. Why did I buy a bunch of big 51 ohm resistors? Oh, I know. It's for this. Only they're a bit bigger than I wanted. I think they're physically too big though. Oh well, I've got them now. I need to get some more now. Oh, come on. Some of these packages are like almost cut resistant. Of course, because I'm using a knife. People comment about a round knife, say, oh, why don't you use a real knife? It's silly to use a round knife. It's, you know, it's, it's easier to cut with a real knife. Well, the reason I use a round knife is it doesn't destroy what's inside the package if it happens to hit it. This, I've discussed this several times in the past, but obviously new people which come to the Cross Channel don't know this because they haven't seen those videos yet. So I thought I'd explain it again. So, what have we got? JC connectors. Male pin headers and female connectors with a bunch of crimp pens. I got these because I didn't have any. I purchased a few different ones recently and I showed these in a previous mailbag too, or maybe it's a future mailbag. Depends on how I sequence these things, I suppose. 0.1 inch. Leave it next for these. Nothing. No. For fuck's sake, where is it? <laughs> You're kidding. All this hassle. One capacitor. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's 
It's a single 100 nanofarad, 630 volt capacitor. Probably propylene, I think it is. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. I actually think this box here might be a review item. We'll find out when we get to it. Ah, tweezers. Now I've been trying to find an equivalent tweezers to these, right? So I've had these things for about 30 years. No idea where they came from. It's got an R symbol on it. Yeah, see that symbol there? Maybe someone recognises that. It's just stainless steel on the inside, because that doesn't really tell you that much. And that's it. I've had these for ages, and these are really good tweezers. They're super robust. And these are really good. Not obviously not a fine point, they're, you know, but I use these for undoing nuts and all sorts of stuff. So I've been trying to find something equivalent to these. And I saw these. I thought these look relatively robust. We'll get these a go. They do feel quite strong. It's got these grips on the end. See those grips in there? So those could be handy for certain things. I think this one's different. Here it is. This is more traditional. So we'll see how good these are. I mean, it's feel like they're pretty robust. Not as good as my existing, I don't think, but they feel like they're gonna do the job. Now, I'm pretty sure I had an idea in mind for these things because of the tips on them. Something did cost a mind when I bought them. I don't remember what it was now, though. These are actually surprisingly well priced, I think. Yeah, they seem alright. So, when I do lose my other ones or something, then I'll at least I've got some spares. So, sod Saldane, Sodane, T, Sodane. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'll put links down below. They look alright. Whiteboard markers. I don't know if I needed to be in a separate bag. It would have been fine, it's in its own bag anyway. Yeah, um, I recently purchased a whiteboard which I showed in another mailbag. I even showed it in my beginner video series where I used that to draw some examples up, which is why I got that thing. Wish I'd actually had it ages ago actually. It would have been really good for doing demonstrations and explaining things. So that came with a few whiteboard markers with it, but also ordered some more. You never quite know what you're going to need. And these might be finer point as well, who knows. So we'll look actually. What's the point like on these? Let's get one out. Oh yeah, it's fairly fine. That's all right. Got this plastic sleeving over it. Which is now getting in the way. Here we go. So they do like the plastic packaging, don't they? Oh well. Bible markers. Thrilling. Oh great, it's one of these <laughs> cube. Figure out how to get into the cubes. DC 5 volt. What's this? Ah, right. 200 millivolt. Okay, it's got markers in the back. So, don't see what colour it is. DC 200 millivolts. Both the same? DC 200 millivolts, yes they are. Okay, I don't need to get both out then. Five digit panel meter. So five volt power coming in to run the meter itself, which is those two terminals, and then you've got these two terminals which are the actual thing you're trying to monitor, and this is set up for DC 200 millivolts. This is for a project. Hmm, a project. Right, let's try this out. I've got it hooked up. Let's turn some power on. 5 volt supply. See if it does actually zero. It does zero. So not Johnson's PDV is too many. Let's do WS is 200 millivolts. So let's do 1 millivolt. That's actually surprisingly accurate. That's good. 100 microvolts. That's good actually, that's surprising. 10 microvolts. 50. Oh, come on. Here we go, 50. Can do it, excellent. 
90. They're surprisingly good. I'm actually impressed by that. 100 microvolts, sorry, 100 millivolts. Oh, look, there we go, that end of the scale's bad though. Hmm. 200 millivolts. Okay. So the bottom end's good, top end, not so much. Okay. I might have to take that back. So 90, 50. So it looks like it might be very slightly out of calibration. I'm probably going to have Ian Johnson screaming at his computer at, you know, because I've got this thing not laying flat. <laughs> Ian BD screaming at me, lay it flat, lay it flat. Don't you know what you're doing? <laughs> hey, Ian. <laughs> um, so that's 30 millivolts. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. So the bottom end looks like it's kind of okay. Yeah, it looks like it's very slightly out of calibration. All right. But it probably doesn't matter too much for the purpose I've got. It's all adjustable. Let me try the other meter to see if this one's any better. Let's plug it in. And not have the wire fall off. <laughs> okay, go on. Stay on. This one's looking much better. Okay, this one's this one's good. All right. 190. Okay, that one's looking good at the top end. Let's see what the bottom end looks like. Just do 100 microvolts. It's really slightly. Oh, is it going to get there? No. Okay. So, these aren't wonderful, but I think they're okay. They'll probably do the job. One millivolt is a couple of counts down, one, one count down. So it's not too bad. I would have liked to see better. Can I do one? Or rather 10 microvolts, can't see it. 20 microvolts. See there's one, so it's reading a count down or so. Okay. I wonder if there's adjustment inside these to, tr to tr uh, trim these things in. This one's probably close enough for me to not worry about doing. The other one's a bit far out from my liking. Let's pull the other one apart. We're in luck. There is a trimmer. Excellent. We'll trim this one in. In fact, I'll do the same on this one before I take it apart. Let's pop this off. There we go. That's easy to come off. Let's get a screwdriver. So let's give it some speakers flicking between 89 and 00. zero. So I think that's close enough. Let's go right down, see if we can get 10 now. We can get 10 now, great, 20. Mm, not quite, 30. So anyway, it's very close now. Let's do 100 microvolts. There we go, I think that's close enough, that's good, I'm happy with that. Let's adjust the other one. Right, let's tune this one for 199. Oh, the wire's fallen off again. <laughs> do you think I should do a better arrangement for this? Oh, no, that one's fallen off now. Oh, dear. I think I need to go the other way. That's that by quite a bit, that one. Okay, but at least we can tune it. Come on. Right. Because you do actually have a little bit of slop in these adjustments, you can actually easily go past the set point and then you have to back it off slightly and go back the other way. Just to take that slot back out. So it's actually can be tricky to get just exactly right. Alright, I think I might leave it there. Okay. Slightly high, that's alright. Do ten. Can we see ten? Nope. Twenty. Yes, one count down. Okay. Thirty. Yeah, one count down again. I think this is close enough, though. I think this will be good enough. Fifty, zero, forty. Still hundred microvolts. 
Can I do 100? Come on. Oh, it's one count out. Okay, I think, it's, I think it's probably close enough though. Eh? So the project I had in mind was to use this in conjunction with this. I'm not going to say any more. You can figure it out. Tell me in the comments. Otherwise, watch out for the project video. Right, last thing for today. Let's find out what this is. Oh wait, hold on. Hmm. I've already opened this one. Oh, it's not a review item. Oh, okay. What is it? Ah, this is LCD displays. 16 by 2 LCD displays, that's what the saves are. I thought this would be a review item. I've got something else I'm waiting to turn up, which maybe isn't here yet then. Hmm. Okay. There you go. These have got the parallel interface on the side here. Because I've got a whole bunch of them which have got the interface on the bottom. Got loads of those. But I didn't have anything up the side. And I recently had a repair I had to do which required an interface up the side. And if I had these balls, maybe I could have done it straight away with those particular ones rather than buying them off the original manufacturer. Um, although that wasn't actually that expensive, to be honest. Yeah. It's nice to keep a different stock of different things so whatever circumstance comes up, you've got something. Of course, it means you've got to have lots of storage. I'm running out of storage. Click subscribe if you haven't been here before. Click like if you like the video. And I'll catch you next one. Bye.